Before we can use the ratio formula in our advanced straight lines course, we have to understand the concept of ratio as it applies to distance. Specifically, the distance traveled compared to the distance still to be traveled. This is illustrated here. In the ratio formula, we have a value A and a value B, and this is what they represent. A represents the distance already traveled. B represents the distance yet to be traveled. If I am going to my friend's house and I have covered three-fifths of the distance, what is my A? The distance already traveled is 3. A equals 3. But the distance yet to be traveled, I have to calculate. If I have gone three-fifths of the way, I still have two-fifths of the distance to cover. B is equal to 2. The distance traveled is the numerator of the fraction that I'm using. But the distance still to be traveled is not the denominator. Let's look at some more examples. In example 1, I am halfway home. What is my A and what is my B? Well, if I'm halfway home, it means that I have traveled one half of the distance, and I still have to travel one half to, of the distance. That means there is a one-to-one -one ratio between the distance I've already traveled and the distance I still have to cover. A equals one, and B also equals one. Here's an example with a little drawing. Example two. From E to F, if I am here, what is my A, what is my B? Well, if I am here and I'm going from E to F, I have traveled one quarter of the distance. I have one quarter already traveled, that means I have three quarters that I still have to travel. My A is equal to one, my B is equal to three. 